here with Greg and this is the day after I've applied a rubber band tourniquet around the base of this um, tumour which was an elected procedure. I did it with um, having applied some stinky paint contained, in this case containing DMSO and some bee relieved essential oils prepared by a client of mine. And what we're just doing now is adding a drop of that to the base of the tumour. Um, this little birdie has um, left this alone um, at the time of um, putting the tourniquet on and it hasn't worried it at all. And I'm very, very um, pleased with the way that it's going. The tumour has already shrunk significantly over less than 24 hours um, and is in the process of dying from the tourniquet. Uh, or probably is dead now. However, we'll just wait for it to drop off. I'm just going to shorten the elastic band ends a bit. I like to leave them long, but the not so, such that our little friend is walking on them. Uh, we'll just do that. Make sure we're only trimming the elastic band and not a foot. And I'll go from there and we'll go there. And um, I expect this tumour and the elastic band to drop off in about 10 to 14 days. At which stage I normally do a recheck. And I advise that when the owner gets back, uh, this bird's being boarded, uh, when the owner gets back, that um, uh, we uh, consider putting our little friend on a whole lot of detoxing um, immune support products to uh, hopefully make a a big difference to um, the future. She uh, looks like she's a chronically unhealthy birdie from the colour of her sear. Her sear is um, um, much bluer than it should be and doesn't lack the normal hormonal things so she's had some sort of hormonal imbalance for a while and uh, there's probably more going on but not necessarily the cancer and I suspect she's a little toxic birdie. Um, and I suspect we can do quite a bit to improve her health over the next few months. So, very good news so far. Coming along fantastic. I'll put it back with her, mate. Not getting bitten. There she goes. Right as a button. Very happy. Very happy little birdie. And thanks, Greg, for being the cameraman. <laughs> okay. The chopsticks grip is this way, um, and so that she can't bite. Another way is to hold the head, which is basically, I'm just going to calm her at the same time a bit. Just quietly, just quietly, just quiet. Right, calming. Um, so there's, um, that's what I call the, the head hold. But normally you don't try, most people don't calm the birdie. So we just hold them like this. We tilt the head over onto the side. And we have the body upright, leaning forward. And finger to finger, we bring a drop over to position the drop so it's going to hit the top corner of the upper beak, or the corner of the upper beak, and run into the mouth. So I'm just, there we are. Gotcha. Rightio. So there it is. And then tilt her, tilt her upright, tilt the head back a little bit, let the drop run to the back of the mouth, and then we can put her back in the cage. Anyway, that is one technique. And look who's here to come and see. She wants to learn how to give drops by mouth too. Or maybe get a biscuit more to the, more to the point. But we'll just open that and say hello. Here you are. Hello, Cocky. You're very, very naughty, aren't you? Hey? Thank you very much. And 